Hello everyone, this is me, Sadiq here, and I'm taking your second week of October read, start from the 8th through the 14th of October 2021. This reading is going to be for the sign of Leo. So let's see what is coming up for Leos for this uh, week time. I will be adding message from your person, plus we will also be adding uh, oracle cards as well. So stay tuned, and uh, while I shuffle the cards, let me remind you, it is a general reading, it may not enough resonate with everyone out there. So always pick the signs and messages which are resonating and lead the best. For personal reads, you can always reach out to me on my email ID in the description box. You can uh, also check out the other services that I offer as well in the description box. So let's see, Leos, how this week is going to be for all of you out there. Let's begin the read. Let's start. Seven of Swords. If there has been something that you have been running away from, try you know, uh, it can be a relationship, it can be a situation that you are running away from, uh, you know, uh, to to face that. Um, I feel like you know you are gonna stop doing that. Uh, if you recently had a breakup or if you recently ended a situation with a specific someone, I do see that there is a strong possibility of you reconciling with that person. Um, I do see like, you know, it's, uh, it's something that you were running away from, but you really wanted that as well. So maybe your fear was kind of, you know, pushing you, uh, pushing you from, you know, uh, you know, accepting that or embracing that, uh, there, there has been like, you know, a deceptive energy. It's, it's not coming from another person. It seems like, you know, you were not ready to accept what you truly believe in, uh, or what you truly wanted, what you truly, uh, desired. So I feel like you know that's the reason why it's uh, it's gonna be you going to uh, take that decision because deep down you always wanted to, just that you are holding yourself back. So I feel like you know there is going to be some situation which you are going to uh, put an end to uh, from where you were kind of you know um, there there has been a situation be that in love work or home life situation. Deep down, you always knew that ultimately you have to do this because this is exactly what you want to do. But somehow you were holding yourself back, maybe because of the people's pressure, peers' pressure, family pressure. It could be anything uh, like that. But now you know that you have to because otherwise um, there is no uh, there is no other way out uh, from the situation. So I feel like you know you are going to be taking some decisions, uh, you know, which is which is going to be like. Uh, um it's it's more like you know you have to face what the reality is you cannot run away from that uh so i feel like you know, that's going to be happening for a majority of you in the very beginning of the week time let's see more cards here the world king of wands seven of wands you are ready and prepared earlier maybe you had some mental blocks around it but now you don't you are going to embrace uh, your change towards a specific someone, relationship, situation. I feel like, you know, maybe, maybe you always had this thing uh, around this situation. Maybe you always kind of, you know, fearful, uh, were fearful of, uh, of uh, accepting the fact that, yes, you have love for a specific someone. You always felt like, no, it's not love. No, I'm not attached. No, I'm not like, you know, into this connection. But it was more like, you know, you trying to pretend that there is nothing between the two of you. But in actuality, it had always been there. But you had some mental, physical, emotional blocks, which were kind of, you know, stopping you from accepting it openly. So I feel like, you know, that is going to change in this week time. For majority of you, I feel like, you know, you are going to feel that now you're ready and prepared. Now, why is that happening? It can be different for different reasons, uh, you know, different people. Maybe for some of you, you have the fear of losing your person and that's why you have to embrace what you truly feel for them. Otherwise, you might lose that person. So, um, but yes, it seems like, you know, it's going to be one of those weeks where you are going to accept uh, and confess what you should have done in the past, in, 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 you know, maybe back in times. Let's see one last card here, Knight of Wands. Let me take two cards for the Eight of Souls here. Ace of Cups, yes, there has been love, but somebody was running away from accepting that. Uh -huh. Then uh, let's take two cards for just uh, Seven of Souls. Yes, somebody was really, really not, uh, you know, accepting the truth there. Um, and, you know, was running away from it. But now it has to be revealed. It has to be accepted. It has to be confessed. Um...
let's see more cards underneath the deck. We do have four of pentacles underneath that. We do have four of uh, swords. I feel like you know you could have been in a in a in a uh, situation where you were having so much pressure of the of the people around you, um, or or you had your own fears which uh, made you take the decisions or made you uh you know be a certain way. But now you are not gonna let that happen. You're not gonna let that influence uh make you take the wrong decisions in your love life if you have love for someone you have to be accepting that love so i feel like you know, there is this uh, um acceptance that you are going to be having in this week time towards a specific someone now if the energies are reversed then maybe this is going to be happening or coming from your person's end uh because i feel like you know uh this is something which which should have been you know done by them earlier so yeah let's see what are the messages of your person what is it that they want to say to you i choose to walk away and stay silent but i'm badly affected so it can be your person's energy then if this is the message from that person uh or maybe because you were not giving into the connection so they might be like you know choosing to walk away and that could be the reason why you are not, you are now going to confess your feelings for that person so again, it seems like, you know, uh, maybe uh, either one of you were not ready to embrace what you truly have for that person. But then you have to open up because otherwise this person is going to go away from you or slip away from your from you. So, uh, yeah, let's see. What are the oracle messages here? Prosperity. Your material needs are provided as you follow your intuition and manifest your dreams into your reality. So I feel like you know it's high time that you manifest your dream into your reality. Uh, the universe will will be uh, giving you the opportunities to make it happen. If you and your person have already cut contact because of the same reason, maybe you were not giving into the connection. They were not taking anything less. The universe is going to create a situation where you could uh, re in, you know ignite the or rekindle the connection that you had with them um, by accepting what you truly feel for each other. So I feel like you know that is definitely happening in this week time. Uh, let's see more cards here. Let's see what else is happening for you guys for this week time. Eight of thought. You may feel as though you are restricted by the circumstances you find yourself in. But that's just an illusion. Make a promise to yourself to refuse to be stuck in a situation that's making you unhappy. Don't wait for someone to come to rescue you when you can free yourself. So now, again, for some of you, you might have been holding yourself back because maybe you felt like, you know, your family is not going to accept this. This might not be right. That might not be the, you know, the perfect or ideal situation to, to be with this person. Maybe you had religious differences. Maybe you had age differences. Maybe you had... Other issues that you felt could be the reason why you should not pursue this connection. But now you are not going to let those mental blocks stop you. Uh, and you are going to take action. Uh, let's see more cards here. Two of Autumn. Bring fun into everything you do. Juggling multiple priorities or jobs. An exceptional talent for multitasking. I feel like, you know, if you always uh, have been the one holding yourself back from giving into a connection because you felt like you have so much on your plate, then too, you are going to prioritize your love life now because you are going to be good at multitasking. And if you always had uh, no no to say to your person because you are some, someone who is a busy personality, maybe you are going to hold on. Maybe you are going to... Um, you know, uh, maybe you are going to uh, now uh, feel like, you know, you have to multitask now and you are going to be ready and prepared to take that action. So last card, let's see what it has to add. Act as if your partner is here. Whether you have someone in your life or not, act as if they are with you. You will always consider them. So manifest it. Like, you know, act as if as you already got whatever it is that you want and you will definitely have it. For some of you, your person could be manifesting this as well. So yeah, that is pretty much it coming up for the Leos for this uh, week time. If it helped you, do like, share, and subscribe. And until I do the next read for you guys, take care. Bye.